I really love the new polymer that is coming with the new update of Bitwig Studios, Bitwig 3.3. Because it's so simple and easy to understand. But because you can change it into a modular synthesizer, you are extremely flexible. My name is Thomas Foster, I'm a music producer from Salzburg. That's why I sound a little bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Christoph Waltz. But Give me 15 minutes of your time and you will understand and love the new Polymer Synth in Bitwig Studios. Enjoy! We load the Polymer into a instrument track. So here I have instrument track. I click on the plus symbol. I type in P-O-L and here it is Polymer. Let's double click it and now we can listen to it. All right, a fast overview. Here is an oscillator and we can change if it's a pulse or a sawtooth, a sine triangle or the new wavetable synthesizer. That is pretty cool. Um, here is a sub oscillator. Um, we have here a filter. There is an envelope. There's an own envelope for the filter and we have here a master section, the red section here with a high pass filter and some pitch effects and some volume and panning stuff. Uh, what is pretty cool is the new modulator. Maybe you know in Bitwig you always have the, a lot of modulators and you can modulate every knob here. And new is the modulation um, uh, vibrato. So uh, with this you can use the uh, modulation wheel to add some vibrato. I will also show you this a little bit more in detail. But what is pretty cool, if you click here on show expanded device view, you see the polymer, uh, your polymer that you programmed as the grid means as a modular synth. At the moment we cannot change uh, things, we cannot add cables or other stuff, but we can use the feature convert to polygrid. And now it's a polygrid and we can change everything. For example, we can add another oscillator here. Let's do this. So you have all the possibility of the grid that you can add to your polymer. And this is amazing because now you can do everything. But let's start from the beginning. I click the plus sign. I type P-O-L. We load the polymer. And now we start from scratch. Here is the main oscillator. And we have here some oscillator types that you maybe already know from the grid. The pulse with the sync function, the sawtooth, the sine, the triangle, The new wave table, I come to this back in a minute. Phase one and the swarm. So um, let's go back to something really simple, maybe the pulse. Um, we can add the sub. The sub is coming with a different wave forms. And you can make it in the same octave, one octave lower than the main oscillator and two octaves lower. Besides adding the volume, you also can modulate the first oscillator with the sub. By the way, if you have any questions and you don't understand what is this exactly, the sync exactly doing, you always can click on the device and use the show help feature and then you can read everything. If you scroll down a little bit, 
you see here, all right, this is the oscillator on every knob. You see exactly explained what it's doing here also on the filter and the envelope. So uh, this is always good to know that you can also here change it and read what it's doing. Let's go back uh, and go to the new wave table. At the moment, uh, normally you would click here at standard 4 and then you would see here all your wave tables that are coming with Bitwig. Uh, because I'm using the better version, uh, I see nothing here. So, but I uh, have here um, of the synthesizer serum all the wave tables and I can add them directly from the finder or on, on the PC from the Explorer directly here uh, into the wave table. And with index, you can morph or scroll through the sounds. Let's find another one that sounds a little bit more interesting. Yeah, here it's extremely cool that you can modulate every knob. So for example, this index that you use to scroll through the sounds, let's add another modulator. Uh, let's take a normal LFO. That is easy to understand. You see what it's doing. And now I click on this blue arrow here and say, please modulate the index. I go out back again to the normal mode and I go up a little bit with the index. So now it's going from zero to 100%. So it's scrolling through the sound and I can do this faster or slower. Or I also could use, let's delete this again, uh, ADSR. So it means a normal envelope. And now I can scroll through the sound. Slow or fast. This is pretty cool. It's always important to make a sound full and fat, to have more oscillators that you can pitch different and use different uh, positions in the panning. For this, we click here on this little knob and now we can say uh, unison settings. Uh, I want to have three oscillators. Here you can detune them. And with spread, you can um, place them different in the panning. And for all this, you have three different modes that all sounds a little bit different. But instead of three oscillators, we also can use 16 oscillators. Pretty cool, huh? We have here a filter. By default, it's a low pass filter with the resonance. You can change here the slope from 12 to 18 to 24. And you can use the envelope. Here you can say how much the envelope should um, modulate the filter. So let's go up a little bit. And now you can say, let's do this very fast or very slow, or let's use an attack. Oh, this is pretty cool. And for sure we have different filters, like the, another low pass filter or a highly resonance multi-mode filter. XP. So a lot of possibilities. This is the main envelope, so we can give the sound the attack. So it's coming in slow. We have sustain and release. Uh, 
uh, sorry, decay and sustain. Sustain is the level where you stay after the decay time. And we have here the release. So what is happening when I release the key? I release the key on three, two, one, go. So it's like a little fade out at the end. Here in the red master section, we have a main high pass filter. We can pitch the whole sound. The pitch is also used by the new um, vibrato. So the vibrato is coming with the modulation wheel. Let's listen, I go up now with the modulation wheel. And now you hear this vibrato. That's because this is controlling here the pitch. If I make this a little bit stronger, now I go up with the modulation wheel. Now it's definitely stronger. You can make this faster or slower. And you can use every other modulator for sure to control the pitch. Uh, let's go back to the position where we have been. I think it was something like 0 0.6. And beside the modulation wheel, you also can use pressure. So now I press harder on the keyboard. We hear the modulator, the vibrato. All right. We have a glide feature. We have here the panning, left, right. We have two times the volume. This one is pre-FX, that means in front of the sound effects. Let's check this out. I click on FX. Now I have this blue plus here where I can load, for example, the distortion. So now this effect is inside the synthesizer here. And now if I change the, uh, this volume here, called the voice level, we will hear that the sound is changing because the changing, that the volume is more in front of the distortion. So the more volume we have in front of the distortion, the more distortion we will hear. If I change the volume here, the sound is not changing, just the volume is changing because it's after the distortion. So we don't need this anymore. Okay. One thing we for uh, forgot, the noise. We have a noise generator. That is also very useful. Now let's click again on this button here saying show expanded device view. And now we see the signal flow of the whole polymer. But in the moment, we cannot change here the cables. We cannot add or delete some of these models here. If you want to do so, we have to change the whole polymer synthesizer into a polygrid. So we right click here where it says polymer. And now we say convert to polygrid. And now it's a polygrid. I click on the graphic here to see the new graphic of my polygrid. And now I can add, for example, a new oscillator. Let's add a sawtooth. Maybe we added this here with the option key uh, in front of the filter. And now we hear the sawtooth with the mixer. So that's why I love the polymer. You can start very easy with, with a very easy synth that is very easy to understand and to control. But at any time, you can change it into the polyquid where you can do everything. Oh, I still have one more thing. If you like producing music like me, then you probably know the problem of finding good drum and percussion sounds. 
Those who came with the music program do not sound right. And on all internet sites where you would get the really good stuff, you pay a fortune. On all? No, not really. There's a web page in whose development I'm involved. Mutant.com Mutant is written with M-U-G-E-N-T and it comes from Musically Intelligent. Mutant. You can find drum beats that sounds exactly like what you hear in the charts or in the big clubs in Ibiza, Miami or Berlin. The web page reminds a little bit of Google. You can just use the text search, get immediately results you can listen to and download for free, or you can use the menus with which you can narrow down the search. On Mutant you can find drum sounds to every genre, music loops, so complete beats, percussion single sounds and loops, cool bass riffs, funky brass and synth riffs, guitars, and all sorts of sound effects from birds to cars, from the sound of the sea to helicopters. With me, there is no more production where I didn't use the sounds from Mutant.com. Take a look, you will love it. My name is Thomas Foster. Thanks for following. Always stay creative. Cheers.